60 frames is what you shoot. Um, That's cute. I don't sport. care. Sport. <laughs> <laughs> so that you can slow it down. All I know is it's 4K, and I look at it, and I was like, bro, I had a fucking zit on my nose, and nobody told me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see it, or else I would have told you. So he, he black masks every I every black Friday. mask before, so when I get home, I put on like a black charcoal mask <laughs> completely, and I pull off all the blackheads, and my I, skin looks that's less That's why oily. you're glowing. I just wash my face with Dawn, just so... Dawn so, dish soap, really? Yeah. Yep. What the, the if it's good enough to clean the ducks, it's good enough for my face. Okay. Oil ducks. Okay. Oil ducks. But you have oil ducks on your face. You know that. What right? do you think that Not greasy oil shit. ducks of your face, ducks that went through like oil, oil. bullshit. <laughs> like actual oil that turns into gas and Oh my god, I'm just gonna hate you the rest of the night. That's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You're in rare form tonight. <laughs> So I guess we're ready. I what moved this. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. That was a beautiful intro, by the way. <laughs> My dead homies drink before I drink this Cayman Jack. Fuck this. Fuck that Jack. <laughs> Ugh. This shit's gross. No, we got him on camera. Fucking start of... I, I edited started the fucking episode. Him spitting <laughs> that shit. All over the place. Look, you know, you gotta try something again every every couple years. Your yeah. taste buds change. So why nope. did you why did you bring a Cayman Jack out here to, just to, to dump it, it out? It was one of our mutual friends that we don't talk to anymore. Yeah, and there's a bunch of them in my fridge. Still That's from my brother. I can get behind that. All I have is Red Bull. Rest Does in peace, he like Red Bull? It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's for him. He's a little crazy, crazy. So, all right, this is Name Pending. Welcome to Name Pending. That's yeah. Mike. Hi, Mike. That's Keeper. I'm Keeper. We have Kel with us again. He's going to be Once hanging again. out with us. For hopefully his... forever. Hopefully forever, you know. And my good friend, hopefully best friend, Ginger over here. Best friend, Ginger. <laughs> ginger. So. and she, But she's not a Ginger. I'm not a Ginger. It's just her name. She it's does, just her I'm, name is Ginger, like racist. The Root. We're not racist. Like The Root. Or like Fucking, my brother. Yeah, not like those soulless, evil ginger bastards. I do love yeah. ginger you know people. That? They have a ginger fest every year in Ireland, I by would the way. love to go to I that. I need to go. I'm going to go. I would love it. I'm going to go? Yeah, when? Let me know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have a podcast <laughs> camp in there. Let's I go. Think, Hell I yeah, think, I'm down for that. I think we're all going in a for different castle. reasons here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just saying, they might steal your soul, Mike. I, I just got to say this, I'm okay though. with this. I know. Does Mike have a soul to steal? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I gave it to Jesus, so. Oh, so you don't have. I, I mean, gave my soul his. to Jesus, but my ass belongs to the core. <laughs> to the core. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell divers and, oh, that totally makes me think about. Well, I was just thinking full Mel jacket. It but, makes me know. think about the book, though. I started reading the book. Oh, God. It totally super hardcore Starship Troopers, Marine vibes. Yeah. It was like, to the core. They're full on Spartans these days. So books, of course. Books. We got to start this off with books. books. Kel, so, have you read anything? No. No, I didn't of even course. Pick up the Bible. I haven't done too much. I've dabbled in audiobooks because I can't read. Have you touched any books recently? I purchased a book. That, I have not read it. Okay. What's it called? I mean, that's a start. Uh, it's called Eight Dates. It's like a a coupley book. Okay. It's like a work on yourself and your couple kind of. That's book. awesome. We're all yeah. for motivational books and yeah. self improvement books. I'm not. Okay, well, okay, fucking not. ruin yourself. The important people. <laughs> Pearl? <laughs> Pearl needs to read some motivational books every year. Yeah. No, she doesn't. She they're, plays She plays the game quite well. They're over here licking up that Cayman Jack. Oh. Uh, at least someone's getting They're going to be feeling like, good. <laughs> someone's going to get drunk. No one, that, hey, there will be an explanation for her. My, my dog. sidedness later. Yeah, my dogs <laughs> love themselves some alcohol. I gotta watch them too because someone will spill a beer. And they're like, mmm, beer. What are you talking about? I dropped food once at a campsite, and your dogs are just like, you dropped food. I'm living by you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, now I'm like, stop. <laughs> so, books. All books. right. What have you read this past so week? So, I, I had a very stuttering week, and but this is why I like. Kindle. Like stut, stut, stutter? Well, no, it's because I would like pick up a book and I would start reading it. And I'd then be, like, lose interest. Yeah, I would lose interest like, or 
elements of it would be shit. Like, anytime harem elements appear in a book, I immediately drop it. Harem elements. Explain that. So, I mean, a harem essentially is, you know, one guy, multiple women, right? And anytime that happens, I immediately lose interest because most of the time it feels like some dude's doing a self-insert on this book series, right? I'm, I'm just not about that life. Living it never feels fantasy. Never feels believable, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I had, I mean, I had one of those. Also, I mean, you know, that that same book, it was like, uh, and I'm going to try and not talk about books I'm super bashing on on podcasts because other people have interest in them. Yeah, it's just, I, I did not like the book. My but, personal opinion wasn't. But like, you know, when, when we're talking like teenagers and you're going through the weird teenage flirtation in the book, it's like, man, talk about shit I don't care about. Yeah. Like, super don't care about. And so some of it's that. Some of it's, you know, you do, you pick up a book and you're just like, you know, I picked up one book that was like dystopian future with magic. And I was like, oh, that might be cool. You were telling me, you're, I think you were talking about this a couple casts ago. And are you saying you just. No, that was a different one. It was a different one? Yeah. No, so you just stay in the genre. Yeah, I cycle through genres. Typically sci-fi or fantasy, right? But this What's was a your merger. Favorite? What's your favorite genre? The one he reads faster. I mean, I'd probably say sci-fi over fantasy, if I'm being honest. You know, like military sci-fi is re- really where I spend a lot of time at. But yeah. even then, I get or real... Or superheroes. Yeah, but You like, dabbled in superheroes, but there's it's, very it's, few good superheroes. Yeah, that's series. the problem is, like, I've gone through a bunch of different superhero series. There's, oddly enough, a lot more good villain series than there yeah. are superhero series. Well, because most superhero series move towards, uh, I'm a demigod. I'm untouchable. Yeah, and that's the other thing, is I picked up another book, and this was a fantasy world, but the main character, what happened is that he found out that he had magic, and he was immediately the most powerful magician in the realm that he was in, and I was like, oh, alright, things that I also don't fall into. So, Ender's Game. The movie, not the book. Oh, well, I never watched the movie. The movie was very much, I'm the most best person who knows all the best strategies because nobody else does this, and um, perfect. See, I think Ender's Game is a very hard novel to translate into a movie because so much of that is internal dialogue. Agreed. And, like... They didn't touch on it in the movie. Yeah, see, that's hard to translate. So you kind of get lost in the movie... And don't really understand exactly what's happening because in the book you hear that dialogue, right? And so, yeah. But in the movie, you don't hear that interpersonal dialogue and that inner fight. Um, I mean, we're getting that way but, because they started moving from books to movies to book to series. We see that yeah. with Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Mm. They're yeah. about to do a Harry Potter remake, which they better do fucking they're wonders. Not, well, they, they're not they, remaking the. Eight movies or whatever. No, they they're doing made. a series. They're, they're doing a, a t- television series. It's supposed to be. Are they starting at book, book one? one? Yeah, they're supposed to do nine okay. seasons. What they're put out for. So okay. I mean, hopefully, in this one, Gandalf doesn't or Gandalf, um, <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah. Mike does no <laughs> books. He's gone. The whole internet screamed and died. <laughs> Gandalf in his giant pipe. Yeah. Harry Potter's bringing the ring to Maldor. <laughs> but uh, Dumbledore doesn't just like randomly barge into the room and grab Harry and go, "What have you done, Harry?" Fucking whatever he said. <laughs> do, you, do y'all remember that? Movie nope. 4. Yes, I do. I don't. Yeah, Goblet of Fire. Yeah, because he put his name once. in the goblet. Oh, okay, okay And okay, he okay, rushes okay. down to the trophy room, and he immediately shakes him. He's like, what have you done? And, and it was so uh, out of character. And I was just <laughs> like, you've been the sweet old grandpa for the longest time <laughs> that watches out for him. And now we're going towards child abuse? Shaking babies under And then it never Uh. came up again. Like, he never acted that way again. (laughs) And you're all like, well, that was fucking weird, bro. (laughs) Exactly, because it's not even... Like, you fought Voldemort in the first movie. He broke so many rules many times before. Not once got in trouble for it. The same way you put your name in the Goblet of Fire and I about near strangle you? Yeah. (laughs) Like... Hold on. Um, Something doesn't make sense here. So another another TV series that 
book to TV series that, but they have unfortunately completely ruined it. Um, and I only watched part like half of the first season, and then like I did some summary work, Don't like tell looking me it's in. Halo. No, well, no, I wasn't gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, no, it was um, the Wheel of Time. I have that on my Amazon list. I just haven't watched. So it. the Wheel of Time is a famous fantasy series. I've read the it's, books. I think it's fourteen books long. I thought it was a little bit. Le- Maybe I haven't read all of them. I think I think it's fourteen books long. Hold but on, we have our phones. the The author is famous because he died before he finished the series. So they had to bring another author in who is now famous, mm-hmm. Brandon Sanderson, in order to finish the series. But, like, it started in the 80s. And Sanderson finished it in the thousands. Like, wow. I think he, like, I forget what 15. year he finished it. 15 books. 15 books. Um, but they have... I'm too behind. There's a lot, a lot of nuance in the books because it is all about duality. Yes. Like, good versus dark man versus woman and about balance between the two. And so you'll see things from a woman's perspective written in the book. And you're like, man, those guys are acting like idiots. And then you'll see things from a man's perspective. And you're like, man, those women are acting like idiots. So I have a coworker at work who said very similar things. He said, um, was it bad omens? So there's a good angel. There's a bad angel. Can I finish talking about the series real quick? No, it's on the same point. Bro. Okay. Keep going. And they were like, they did the series decent, but they didn't cover a lot of things that they should have. This should have been better in a book. This is how. And they went into full detail. Very similar to what you're saying. Because I read up to 13. I didn't know there's 15 books. There's 15 books. So I got to read two more. There, are, I, I love them. So, I love the whole series. What series is this? Wheel the, of Time. The Wheel of Time. Thank you. That was my question. Amazon pushed it out last year? Year before? They pushed it out a year or two ago. The Wheel so of Time. It's on, it's on Audible. Amazon yeah. Prime. Yes, it's on Audible. The, Audible's good. Yes. Amazon. Amazon Prime has it. They pushed it out. I've got a bunch of authors' names busting through my head right now. Who was the, the writer? I'm forgetting. So there's a series, like a video series? or So so what I was saying is that they... Robert Jordan. Robert Jordan. With Brandon Sanderson uh, he's as the, one, the co-author. Yeah. He was the second after... Yeah, Brandon Sanderson finished the series off after Robert Jordan died. Which I've read, actually read, not Audible, actually read some of his books and I have them on my bookshelf at home. Great fucking books. But, I, I love Sanderson. But, uh, so the problem with the series is that it gave up completely on nuance for yeah. the balance between man and woman, good and evil. And it essentially became... Well, we need more powerful women. And so moments that were very important to male characters instead became important for female characters. And Even though these same female characters have their own very important moments throughout the series. The series changed it. And I blame a lot of like Harry Potter TV movies where it's like, oh, we're giving all the lines to Hermione. Mm. It was like, they set a precedence. Like, we changed. It was like, okay, woman has a proper role. And she has this intelligence with her. She's a smart person. It's just like, but she's only smart and she's a woman. So she has her own section. And he's the dumb idiot male and we push him off to the side. And that that's where... What, literal lines and actions that Ron were supposed to take, instead Hermione took. Mm. And I've heard this with one of my Louisiana buddies. Is like, I love the books. I hate the TV series because it just, yeah. it missed... A lot of it. They didn't capture it. They they focused on what is, I guess, woke society ruining books and media. It was, it's like, okay, I understand it has an agenda. And me and Mike have agreed on this. And we've talked about this. It was like, but don't tell me someone's this and then never touch on it again. Well, and, and their excuse was is that, well, we needed to translate this for the modern day. Yes. So they tried to make it more accessible if you will so that more people would yeah find it yes more broad to the audience and in, okay. instead versus how it was written yeah and and i feel like we lost so much and in a business aspect i understand it i don't like it but i understand it's like oh this is our diverse hire <laughs> it's like i get it i don't like it but i get it not nothing against the person just well we're hiring them and they're 
I don't know, black, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, they are not white. I'm not saying hire only white people. Don't care. Hire someone that's qualified. Man, you are digging up that hole. <laughs> oh, fuck digging yeah. Hole. Let's go. <laughs> digging that I'm hole. I'm from Tennessee. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Hole. You're not Woo. a mister till you sleep with your sister. No. <laughs> but no joke. Like, get someone that's qualified. Like, really, you're a hairstylist. Mm-hmm. How upset would you be if someone got it, like, Native American, got the job, was underqualified for the job, but got it because they were diverse? Would that upset you a little bit? Maybe not like I mean, forever. I mean, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like maybe ha- hairstyling isn't the the right application for that. Just because. So I don't know. It, I'm not. It, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I can apply that to. You can apply that to anything. I mean. But yes, I can see where you're, where you're coming from. Is. If if person A has A B C and D, but person B only has A and B, oh, but person B is this, and we need this. This being skin color, tattoos, right? Whatever, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. I mean, from the business aspect, I get it. <clears throat> but when you throw it into a book series, or a movie series, or a TV series, we're here for entertainment. Yeah. Like I've said it before. I enjoy entertainment for Dance Monkey Dance. I, I don't care. I'm here to... You like ex- watching monkeys dance? Yes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I'm not going to fucking... Ch- I'm, I like no. watching cats <laughs> swat things yeah. and push things off the counter. I'm here for the entertainment purpose. Like, and you don't want them to change the book that you have read and, and come to love and yeah. just to... Just to cater. To, just to cater to... Because if, if, you need, yeah. if you feel like you need something... To cater to that audience, then make something original or pick one of the series, multiple out there, that already cater to that audience. And right. agree, make that into a show. Because there's a plethora out there. Because I've actually, I did this and it's one of the things I want to talk about. Um, the LGBT community, the gay community, the um, far left, far right. Like, they have books out there. If we made those into series... They would hit their populace that they're reaching for one way or the other. But. But instead, we want to throw them all together and society as a whole wants to see conflict. Uh, no, I don't think it's that. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a Hollywood and government controlled society. So what gets put out on TV, even though we have our quote unquote freedoms and you know, we're not like North Korea where we don't have access to internet or television that like in North Korea, they don't have access to internet, but they have television. But the only thing that's allowed to be pushed out on television is what the government says can be pushed out for their agenda. That's your internet. Now you don't have access to internet. Tell me I'm wrong. Go use a VPN and go somewhere else in the world and see what you don't have access to. Right. Exactly. No. And I get that. Um, but the illusion, the illusion of our freedoms are just an illusion. Really what it is, is governmental control using fear tactics to control society. Like COVID COVID was a fear tactic to control society. I think it was a partial fear tactic. I think there was also a purge. There was proper fear there. I do think COVID was a thing because we see this in statistics and we see this in, if you go to the dark web, you can see the actual medical everything on this. Well, you don't even have to go to the dark web now. They're straight up coming out and yeah. seeing it in public. Well, now they're just like, saying no, they're live just, TV. They just put out yesterday or the day before, they're going to start shutting down websites and taking down videos that contradict the vaccines and the <laughs> I mean that's funny because all the stuff the dark web is accessible to anyone now. It's not like, oh I gotta know all this whatever. Right. No, everyone can get to it now. It's not super hidden. And it's almost impossible now to take down a video. Perfect case. Twenty eighteen happened. Some politician said something stupid around a bunch of school kids. Dealt with court case, dealt with all this because even though the video was deleted, it was still out there. 
Right. Once it makes it past 100 views, the world has it. Right. 100 views. So you think about that. If I take a photo and I store it on the cloud somewhere, it exists. People see that. Even if it's their own personal, your Google Drives, your Dropbox, whatever, if you store it, it's out there. The world has it. That's, That's why we like, get calls from random people because we sign up for something yeah. one time and they and your sold. Gets shared 5,000 different times. Exactly. Well, it's just like Facebook, Instagram, any social. Well, they own all your stuff. Yeah. Anytime you upload something to their platform, it's no longer your property, it is their property. Which so, is like scary. all your videos. Yes and no. In 2012, this was fought in court. If you still have the original photo and you have it saved on your own device, you still own original property, even if it is on another site. Uh, this is like the NFT yeah. argument. But yeah. you have to own the original. So all my stuff shared on the all on the Google Drive. So the moment it's off my phone, technically I don't own it, but yeah, I don't have four terabytes of fucking photos on my phone. <laughs> right. Like, Why not? <laughs> because my phone doesn't have enough storage yet. Well, it sounds like a bitch. Let's get back to Hollywood. <laughs> So let's let's look at Okay, the let's let's start. Where did Hollywood start? Hollywood, California. Who started <laughs> Hollywood though? Like some white guy. Nope. Jewish population started Hollywood. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, but it's not run by going. the Jewish population. And when anymore. did they leave? I don't know. 1980s. 1980s a majority of them left. Why? Because black television started getting introduced. Nope. It didn't leave because of black television. I am very confused now. They left because of the drugs that were being pushed into it, and a majority left. Now, a huge Jewish population still owns a huge amount of Hollywood studios. But they look at it in their biblical sense, their Torah sense of, this is money. Business is different than my life. This is business. Well, in the Jewish community, the, well, Jewish people, and I'm not saying this in a racist Anti-Semitic. Yeah. Semitic? The, Semitic. The yeah. Jews are very money focused. Like they 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 they're about business. I mean they're that's that's why they're money. There's that age old stereotype yep. that right. all Jews about have the, money. the greedy rich Jew yeah, that goes jewel, way, way the Jewish back. are like real big into the jewelry market. Like they're they're big into what makes money. Right. Correct, but and why? It's smart. They did They're it because it's people. it's what helps you prosper, helps right. you spread, helps you get further. Right. And realistically, they are one of the many races, many sections of people that have been persecuted. Absolutely. Throughout time. Well, and I mean, it wasn't until Adam Sandler, really, until Jewish, the Jew, like even though you're saying the the Jewish community. Own, brought in Hollywood. They were the money behind Hollywood. Hollywood. They weren't on the front lines. They yeah. weren't on the front lines. Yeah, they, they were, were the not, money. They were not Jewish or any other race other than white that were really allowed to be on camera. I mean, that's where blackface came from, right? Because well, we're we're gonna do a show. It wasn't even just blackface. Black you got to throw women to this. Women weren't allowed to start being Fuck, on. Women weren't allowed to do shit until the seventies. But this is now we go back to playwrights back in the day. Like men were dressing men, as women. Yep. It because Shakespeare. Shakespeare. And even before that, we have this back to caveman days, we have morals of not morals. Murals. Murals. Woo, Tennessee's coming out, been up there too long. <laughs> but we have murals of men, and the only reason you know it's male is because dudes wearing a skirt with no a long schlong coming no, out the bottom no, of the dress. No chichis. No, not even that. Like, it's just you the can long see the phallic long, member. Yeah. You have this coming out, and you're like, okay, got it. So they did this back in cave so, writing days. So they're basically drawing pictures with men wearing skirts and three legs. Correct. <laughs> I mean, gotcha. essentially, yes. Gotcha. Um, but when it comes down to it, like, Hollywood is very very particular on what they allow to be released. For instance, if I made a very controversial film right now. One just came out. Um, it was the one about kids being taken. Um, it was the same actor who did Passion of the Christ. 
That came out last year, right? No, it came out this year. Or What's last it year, called? yes. It came out last Actor year. Actor or director? Hey, Mel Gibson? Bro. Mel Gibson? No, it wasn't. No, it was... Um, My mom just watched it and told me about it. It was oh. the actor that played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. It awesome. wasn't the director. He just did it. It was a... He was a... He pretty much worked for an organization and then started his own organization to save children that have been abducted. They like sound wanted of, to pull him Sound back. of Freedom? Yes. Sound of Freedom. They wanted to like pull him out and he's like, no, I have to stay. I have to continue doing my work. And, and he, he ended up leaving his job and we can track all this. And this, this has been trying to come out since 2016. And Hollywood shut it down for so long and then silent partners out of everywhere some were churches, some yep. were five hundred one C three organizations helped this come to life, and I get it. I understand both sides of it. It was like, look, we don't want this not to come to light, but this this doesn't meet the agenda of what we're trying to bring to people. Nobody wants to go to a movie and see something that's like my kid could be stolen. I don't want to see that, but it is something we need to bring to light. Same thing that BLM did. They started very well, and then they ended up jumping into destroying cities yeah i like, mean it, that whole thing the, is a, the start a of the movement was great same with black panthers now kkk was another one that started with good intentions and and got, then jumped down to this rabbit hole of extremism extremism wait where how did it start it started with it started it started as a as a organization to protect our rights it started to protect white people rights that were sharecroppers because at the time, sharecroppers that were male, and this goes back to three-fifths vote time frame. So we're going 1800s, roughly. Mm -hmm. Black people are free. They have the freedom to do what they want, but they still were only three-fifths of a vote. So at this time, historically, the white man had a full vote and a black man had three-fifths vote. So mm -hmm. at the time, it was like, okay, so the organization was created so that way the white man didn't get screwed over for three families living in the same house of a black family and lose all their stuff. That's how it started. Right. And but it was all it it was also during a time where if a white man was found beating on his wife, the white man was hung. Yes. And then that after extremism got involved into it and they, they went far one way you or the other. You had specific parties that started, jumped in. That Coca-Cola in the 1920s supported them. Pepsi. Mine, mine. Whose phone is ringing? Mine, mine. Check your cameras. Whose phone is ringing? Mine, mine. My phone's a phone. My phone's a phone. Whose phone is ringing? Mine, mine. What was that? 20 minutes? 28. <laughs> so, Kelt. <laughs> So anyways, the book I was reading. <laughs> Bless so you. The whole, the whole thing with Hollywood is... If it, no, 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 no. We're no. going to talk about the book I We're was reading. This, <laughs> book. This, is, this is 30 seconds. This is 30 seconds. I don't have enough alcohol for this. The, 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 the point behind Which one's Hollywood... This? That's gone. Here, take this. No, there's still some... Bro. That? No, that's rocks. Have some of that. I want to know what it is. It's whiskey. D dang it's good fucking whiskey Here. i was asking what taste it you are not helpful mine mm -hmm. mine is scotch and it's gone i was asking what if whiskey. mine's the 18 year mcclellan Thank but it's you. gone okay. <laughs> um okay, listen so i need you to cut down on that sass boy Kel fucking ah! <laughs> what are you what are you drinking holiday what, a, what right am i here. Okay. <laughs> I thought you had a cup. Anyway, so the, the the problem with Hollywood is you can produce a film, but if it doesn't support what Hollywood is trying to push out at the time, they're going to buy your film and they're going to stick it on a shelf for all of eternity. And that shit will never get fucking seen. You're, you're very passionate about this. I am. I'm a, fucking, I'm a filmmaker, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I do for a living. Like... Hey, I Pearl, you're looking film. majestic. Yes, you are. Pearl. How drunk are you, Pearl? Can Pearl you get down the steps? She's like, it's, 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 it's outside, guys. What are y'all doing outside? Come here, Pearl. 
Come pearl trap me. Are, Come on. Are you good? I'm cold. I was gonna go steal a blanket. You want you want a jacket jacket? A jacket jacket? Like a Carhartt that'll keep you warm? We can move the fire closer. I'll just go steal a blanket or a, a jacket jacket. I mean, if the fire's not smoky, we can totally move it closer. Is it now smokeless? Yes, it's now smokeless. <laughs> Pearl's like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, how, now how the fuck am I supposed to get through here? You don't, girl. Oh, girl. Yeah, no, you can't yeah, come this way, girl. 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 So fuck Mike's books. I know you're going to watch this later. <laughs> fuck you, Mike. Hey, so, but seriously, if your film isn't what Hollywood likes at the time like because the it's not trip. fitting their agenda and what they're pushing out then they're gonna can your shit and it'll never see the light of day but that's not just hollywood that's I mean, any organization ever I mean, that's all of america hey, it's layers right hey layers work I, feel like they're really I mean it's 61 degrees outside right now Is it? yep Why do I feel so cold? Cause because you, texas you, cold is bone chilling. Cause you're in Bantucky. What? Cause the cops are as crooked as the roads. Like a tamale. Oh, I look like a grandma. That's okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a horse blanket. Well, like with it on my lap like this. Oh, I mean, Mike's done it at my house. Come on, pearl girl. Yes. Hola, abuela. Do we gotta bust out the pearl chair for this? I think so. Oh, somebody just got pearl trapped. I mean, she's fine. She'll be warm. Hi. I know. After she's licked to death. I love your kisses, Pearl. Cabo's like, what the fuck? Where's mine? Ooh. You're next, Cabo. Pearl saw me bring out the blanket, and my animals all love blankets. The grandma blankets. It's a good blanket. Which all those were knitted by my grandma. There you go. So this you whole sure? dialogue. Yeah, all the ones on that couch in there, every single one crocheted by my grandma. Wow. This whole that dialogue, awesome. to jump back to the book series. Yeah, let's go back to your book now. <laughs> since he's done his soapbox. Can, can we talk about my book hey, now? That we're going to edit say, out. So my, my, my hoodie is looking a little blank. Oh, oh you don't have one of these hoodies? You don't have one of these? Not yet. It's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll get you a pink one. We'll, that says, hey, well, I will I know you'll fuck out of it. You know I will. Done. Done. <laughs> as long as name pending is purple. I'll see what I can do. You just gave me an idea. We, you guys might start seeing new name pending colors. I think. You well, should. I mean, I'm, if the, I'm going to order him one, I'm ordering us one. But that's fine. We'll have different colors, but name pending OG is still green. It's still green. We're not changing that part. Hey, but purple and green go well together. I'm just saying. It just depends how much kelp pisses me off. <laughs> she just looks so happy. I am. I love Pearl. <laughs> She's definitely Pearl Trapped now. Yeah, that's that's what we call getting Pearl Trapped. I love it. Is this the book series now? Okay, yeah, okay. You found it So 40 minutes later? Well, I had already found it. It's just I was leading to this, and then, man, we got sidetracked. Good. We have ADHD bad. Uh... Especially okay. at 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock? It's 10 no. o'clock? It's 10 o'clock? It's 8.43. <laughs> I hate you. I was like, there's no way we've been talking for two hours, bro. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me lose. use my fingers <laughs> to check the moon. Uh, 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 uh. Dude, that still tells me eight. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, tree line Cabo, at the highest tells me it's almost nine. <laughs> Almost, and it's eight forty-four. I hate you with the passion. Look at Cabo. He's trying really hard. Cabo, here come go. here, Cabo. And snap. Let me see if I can't get a better one. Snap, snap, snap. Ginger is yep. their favorite person besides me. Come I here, Cabo. Pro goes where the love is. Come on. She does. She does. So she's trapped there. Yeah. Okay. So book, book series. Book, book. <laughs> Let's go. So after after having cycled through multiple failed series and just not finding, finally the other day I found a book series that I liked, and so I finished it in like nine hours. The um, whole book series. How many books? No, I mean I say it's a book series. The second book hasn't been released yet. 
I, I finished the so first So you finished book. one book in nine hours. Yeah. Okay, you don't make me feel as bad. I couldn't sit there and read a book for nine hours. I don't think you I could can't, either. You can't sit and hold a conversation for ten minutes it of was the only, same topic. Right. Guys, it was only 462 pages, <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. For, what the? I would look. I, I, that's the first thing I do is I look at see how many pages are in a book, and I'm like 400. No. Nope. Can you nope. do the math? How I many? I put it back on the how shelf. How many pages? Of, how quickly? What's your reading rate? RPM, or, or WPM, words per minute. Yeah. Red words per minute. Book. <laughs> book. Nine hours. Okay. Get read. 462 pages. 462 <laughs> pages apparently nine is hours. roughly nine hours. In Mike math, that means. He's got up to pee, he's drank some, or watched a little bit of show, or did something around the house. Yeah. Yeah, so, no, I'm doing other stuff in between book times. Maybe six hours. Let's go with the solid six hours, because Mike <laughs> does things pretty fast. I'm really trapped. <laughs> Pearl's just She's made herself content. very comfortable. We might need to pull out the Pearl chair for this. Well, I mean, you know, where it's at. I know. Are you going to talk about your book series now? I'm going to talk about my book series. <laughs> All right, I'll leave. Are you going to pull out both chairs? One for Cabo and one for Pearl? Yeah, I need to make it even on both sides. Do you know where the other one is? Oh, Cabo's out. It's it's in the hangar. Cabo's oh, ears have perked. And he's Pearl, watching. Pearl's is on the, the center council. Black counter. Council? Council. <laughs> <laughs> look at per look at Cabo. He's uh, his ears are like perked and he's like checking out keeper like oh yeah you bring my chair. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Cleared all the chair the stairs and everything. All right, your book. So my <laughs> actually I want to wait for keeper to get back to talk about the book. He, well he left because he didn't want to hear about it. I have oh. a question. How do you do the battery changes on the cameras? Uh, I mean you take them off the. You just pop them in, pop them and out, then and then push them. Push. And okay, then I just yeah, we take like a thirty-minute in intermission, change out. Nor the normally, we would have taken an intermission earlier, but everyone wanted to keep talking, and he wanted to have a dumb ringtone. So <laughs> I thought it was funny. I'm sorry. So I was like, "All right, well, I guess there goes our intermission." <laughs> you can always cut that out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it has to stay. Especially your it's dance. It's gonna go off again in like however many. Oh, dude, don't don't things. let it come off again. Don't let it ring, go I off again. I turn the ringer down. <laughs> um, I don't want to have to edit that out every time. <laughs> fuck, that's him like trying to. That short fuck trying to get up there. I was and gonna grab say, shit. I feel like maybe tall Mike Who's should have gone to get it. Oh yeah, my, no, I wasn't gonna my, do that. <laughs> it's keeper's job to get the chairs for some reason for the dogs. I don't know why. Oh okay. Like, it's his job to start a fire, but he can't do that either. He can't do that, no. <laughs> he can't? No, every time he's tried to start a fire out here, it's failed spectacularly. Oh. If you, I don't know if you know this, but every house he's lived in doesn't have a fireplace for a reason. Oh. <laughs> Did you do it? I reached it. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so I'm proud. I'm reaching that shit, bro. <laughs> here you go, Kel. You're a man. You can do your own thing. Cobble's like, I'm gonna jump in this shit real quick. Bro, this is for you. She's like, that's for me. Oh, she, oh, knows. she knows what's she up. She knows. knows her chair. <laughs> All right, Ginger. Can you actually put it, put them in front of the table? You want the tables in front? No, the, the chairs, chairs in front, in front of, of the table. Front. For the dogs to sit up there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's, did you just pick up that dog? <laughs> there's a rope around it. Pearl does love the blanket. Pearl can get over it. Wow. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> All right, Cabo, your turn. <laughs> like, what the? What the fuck? Yeah, you little boy. <laughs> turn around, make it perfect. Lay like that. <laughs> Gold! Oh. That is a photo right there. We have our co-hosts up there. Yeah. Yeah. Cabo, we got Welcome, Pearl and thing Cabo. Going. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> this is the most amount of... Oh, we're going <laughs> to share. <laughs> this is going to be a dog cast. Yeah. <laughs> The, we got four people and two so, dogs. So like, now, every time I take my dogs anywhere, I have to bring the chairs too. 
We might need another blanket for Ginger. Okay. No, I'm okay right now. The fire's closer. I have another jacket. I'm still warm. From You're Pearl. still good. Okay. I'm still good. Let us know. Cut us off if you get cold. Okay, or I'll just steal it from Pearl. Don't be like <laughs> Keeper and let your feet start freezing. Did your feet freeze? So I was wearing my boots and I walked through the grass and it my feet got so cold to the point it was like, well, his why boots didn't were you so tell through. me? What his kind boots of boots were, were they? so through. There were these boots. Cowboy boots. They're just cowboy boots. Oh, but they got the They're buffalo they were, leather. They're, they're not waterproofed. And they just <sighs> No, they are. That's so what I was gonna part. say. Buffalo is one of the But most. he's like, you should podcast ends. He's like, you should have told me. So I wear his boots. I feel like I'm wearing my dad's boots, just clunk, <laughs> clunk. <laughs> and he gives me socks that I brought back today, washing everything. My wife pulls out the socks, she's like, You don't wear are these like compression socks? <laughs> like, what are these? All your socks are color to date. I don't have a single solid color sock in my drawer. So she, she's like, um, explanation. Where you been? What you been doing? <laughs> she was like, these have to be mics. I was like, yes, they were mics. My other girlfriend. The other, the other thing to add to that is there's not a sock in his drawer put together that match. Not true. My wife does laundry. Now all my socks match because it drives my wife crazy. Ha! The best when part though. When they don't though, match? When they don't match. Oh. That must have just started. Oh, uh, that started a couple months ago. Um, <laughs> the funniest part with all this though is I bought a set of socks that don't have a matching pair. On purpose. They're they're Bombas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're compression socks. Bombas are nice socks. Bombas are badass. I have no idea what you're talking about. They're Bombas really are comfortable nice socks. socks. Google it. You got a phone. If they Bomba ever get a hole for any reason, They'll they will replace, replace them. them. No way. Yes, yes, they will. Are you kidding me? Yes. I threw my bomb. I've replaced. That. I've my replaced Sam did, so many socks. And I socks. dug those motherfuckers out of the trash. I was like, "What are you doing?" Because all, I used to all my bombas in my boots, and I'd get that big toe hole in it. All my bombas have been replaced. This is like my third set of bombas. Because really? when, when I was with the club, no joke. We would we would walk so much, or we'd ride so much, and then it rain doesn't matter. Weather's indifferent. We would ride, and I would socks get holes get in my socks, and they get worn. Like one club day, I think the lowest day was ever was three miles, walking in boots, because our dress code was boots. You have to yeah. wear boots covering the ankles up, and no joke, I would cut holes in them just walking. <laughs> And most of the time I walk barefoot when I'm not riding the bike. So I already have callus on my feet. So that didn't help. But Bombos <laughs> replaced them to the point that these are my my third generation of Bombas. That's pretty cool. And I'll send it back and <laughs> I go back to the same email thread. Hey. It happened again. So it <laughs> happened again. They're like, are you walking outside in these socks? Like, no, I have uh, talons for feet. But their customer right? service. I love their customer service because they're the same as... Uh, the bigger blacker box company, the Cards Against yeah. Humanity. Um, but essentially, they the first thing they hit me back with was a GIF. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was the first. No comments. No, no. The only response I got was a GIF going, what the fuck? <laughs> it was just like, thanks. I appreciate it. But they're they're one of those companies that have modified over time, transitioned over time to cater to current generation is like i know this is a joke i know you're going to respond to something later or you're waiting for me to respond and it, it's comical i enjoy companies that are just like no shit yeah. yeah yeah go all in like hell yeah cards against humanity did that my buddy cut a the bigger blacker box came with a the biggest black is dick card in there and it was oh, silver yeah, got that. embossed but when he cut the because you have to cut the box the cover it's of the, the one that's like hidden in it. Hidden yeah. in okay, it. okay, okay. So he cut it, but he cut the card. Oh. So he sent them a message. It was like, hey, I did this. Their response was priceless. If I could find it in my photos, I'll send it to you. But it was, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> you knew the card was in there. You're an IT guy. You know this shit. Fuck you. <laughs> We're not sending you shit. And then I think it was like 20 minutes later. Just kidding. They sent him another one. <laughs> Just kidding. Give us your address and we'll send you the next one. I was just like, that's what we need. Like, seriously. I need more customer service like that. Like, a lot of us that grew up in the 80s and 90s are like, fucking give me a hard time. And then just, all right, just kidding. Here you go. Like, right. Like, we want, 
we want real people. We yeah. want real customer service. We want I don't blow smoke up my ass. To robots. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. It really pisses me off. You don't have to sugarcoat everything. I mean, be fucking real. Yeah. You know. But anyways, the book. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this all fucking night. This title's just gonna be this the dot book. dot dot the book. <laughs> this title dot 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 the book. <laughs> My dogs are out protecting my property. Good dogs. Props to them. That's because so I... the book. The book. <laughs> What's the book called again? <laughs> I, I haven't forgot. even gotten to the oh, title. Oh, okay. Because I was I like, never I really made it to the title. No, this even wasn't know even what we're that talking one. About. Is it Once Upon a Time? No, he's no. only talked about so the story. This is called oh, okay. The Unintended Cultivator, Volume One. Now, when um, I say cultivator, I'm talking about like Zanzia, Wuxia, Chinese fantasy cultivator, right? So, like cultivating magic energy inside you, cultivator. Like one inch punch, kind of. One punch, yeah, man? yeah. Like so, no, so the think one inch punch. So oh, you're like you're talking about chi. You are yeah, talking about yeah, chi. So it's like chi, right? It's like you know, think like. Chi, you know, your drunk, chakras, your yeah. Think like drunk, drunken master shit, right? Right. <laughs> okay. You know, um, but the the premise is is that there's this just kid living on the street in you know fantasy Wuxia world, uh, you know ancient times, with magical cultivators floating around, and super powerful dude comes rolling through town and he goes, "Yeah, I want this kid. I'm gonna take him. He's gonna be my disciple." We just talked about Sound of Freedom. And so, <laughs> goes up on top of a mountain with this guy and meets his friends, uh, a man and a woman who he starts calling aunt and uncle, and they train him over the course of X amount of years, six years, I think. Um, and But they are ridiculously way powerful. <laughs> Freaking astronomically powerful. Of course. I need you to stop sneezing on my podcast, Ginger. I'm so sorry. Gazunta. Gazunta. Should be sorry. Gazunta. German only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pearl, you're stuck in the cord. Always. Yeah, Pearl is. Um, go to the front of the chair. Pearl's a raging disaster. There you go. You can do it. I believe. Yay. Uh, we lost Cabo. Yeah, he's somewhere. But the book series, of course. But but anyway, so I really I really liked it because it was it was fun to see. Someone like get taken in by a master and them treat them like they're get own. adopted in, not yeah. like taken, stole. No, stolen. no, but like adopted and more trained. adopted, brought into the family. Yes. And, okay. You know, it was like these like people are considered like some of the most powerful people in the world, and then they're like, "We've trained you. Go off into the world and experience <laughs> Go some out life. And conquer." Yeah. <laughs> Literally, his uncle at one point he's like, "Yeah, when we unleash you into the world." You mean, let me out into it? He's like, yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> let you out into it. <laughs> Anyways, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if all y'all are into that Chinese fantasy stuff, but it's... Not at all. It's, no, I'm, I enjoy good series. I'm um, pretty boned up on that. You know, I a friend of mine got me into a lot of it. second book's coming out soon. Yes, March. March, okay. I was very disappointed to see that it was on pre-order and not already Mike out. Mike goes over here. Read. Oh, I gotta wait for the second book. You're Mike hates waiting. I do hate waiting. I'm as impatient as everyone else from my generations and the generations after. What are you talking about? You're like, hey, can I send Amazon shit to your house so it'll be here faster? <laughs> sure, why not? To the point that something will arrive at my Michael. Okay, and okay. And I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Open you know, it up. No, that's not just our generation. That's not just Earlier generations like yours that are impatient. What That's, generation are you from? I'm Gen X. And so... What does that mean? That I'm old as fuck. How old? <laughs> old, old. Old and dusty almost. 44. 44! You're what? only six years younger than my dad. So Are eight, you serious? My dad's 52, so eight years. I could be eight your years. fucking dad. <laughs> you could. But that means you would have had me at 16. Uh, well, you That's know. possible. <laughs> if it makes you feel, I ain't yeah. saying nothing. It's very if it, it makes possible. you feel better, you're catching up on my dad. Jesus, <laughs> wow, Ash Daddy, Come no on. living dad, living dad. Okay, I'm like, uh, no, no, I meant, Daddy? Was, I meant Ash, Ash Daddy. Daddy. Oh, Ash Daddy. 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 There's only one dad that you can catch up on. <laughs> oh, twenty-seven fifty-nine.
All cameras go. All cameras go. Action. Okay, so let let's jump into these conscientious topics. So me and you were talking offline. You mean or contentious? contentious. <laughs> I'm from Tennessee. Ring ding 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 ding. So wait, what we offline we were talking about at one point, and I I stopped y'all is we were actually <laughs> talking about. Because I was like, guys, this would be great on camera. I want this on camera. What? You're number one. The Sega, the Sega Genesis you thing? You used the wrong finger. I didn't. <laughs> hey, you know this means the tail feathers, right? Because you ain't worth the whole Well, part. we're not in any Asian country, so I don't care about that one. I'm not Indian. But, My grandma was, though. But we, me and you were talking before we interrupted hey, and know, told to pause it benefits from that. for a conversation. I can't because I'm adopted. I am purchased. And so, a purchased person. So we're talking about partner. Partner wise, so the term partner. The term referring partner. to someone as your partner. So is explain partner, not just my my understanding. I wanna I wanna understand. You mean more. partner? <laughs> I mean partner when I say partner. As your significant other. As my significant other. It's a term that I have only ever called my current partner. Um, Has it ever changed? Do you ever call him like spouse or husband or sometimes wife? Sometimes I or... call him my boyfriend. Okay. Um, his name is Sam, so sometimes. You call him Sam. Well, sometimes I call him Sam. But w- but sometimes people. When did it? When did it? Has it ever changed? Was it ever just like, oh, this is my boyfriend? Well, I mean, or this is my, like... when y'all started dating, you started calling him partner because yes. I remember that because at first it took me off guard, and then I was like, oh, that's just a thing, and then I moved on about my life. And uh, <laughs> and that's what I'm just I'm just trying to understand. I I didn't my... feel like I needed to understand anything because I'm not keeper. I'm not from the hillbilly country of Tennessee. I, look, how long my average IQ is 98, so I'm trying to build my. IQ knowledge of understanding. You do realize IQ is based off of an average, right? Three years now. Oh. Yes. So my wife and I aren't legally married. We've been together for twelve years. You're three years. Legally you're technically married. married in the state of Texas. Legally married. Well, wow, how's it feel legally to be married by paper? Have you married. and Sam been you together you for seven him? years? Seven? No. No, it's three. fucking six months in Texas. Six months? Wait, wait, well, hold if on. You live together no, for that six don't months, sound you're right. Common law. Hold on. Are you going to Google this or am I going to Google this? You Google this? it. <laughs> okay. Well, we've lived and together for over a year. Then you're well commonly over married. We've lived I don't together believe well that's right. Year. The only way you're not commonly married is if you don't introduce yourselves as husband and wife. Okay. Then they're not. Congratulations. I, but the second you do, you're common law. <laughs> I introduce him as my partner or my boyfriend, but mostly as my partner. But it's a term that I adopted, um, I think... Ooh, the smoke. Oh, um, fuck. Seven months. Seven, seven months. months? Or seven years. Seven months? That's a big seven difference. Seven years. There's if no... Re- don't- there's no require... Google. This is just off Google. This is <laughs> off familytexas.com. It says, as stated earlier, there's no requirement for how long the couple must live together. It could be seven months or seven years. So, minimum, off this website... Well, we've lived together over a year, um, but I refer to him as my partner. Um, after I got divorced, um, something I wanted to do, or I guess self-growth, I wanted to be with someone who I thought was, I think of as my partner in life. Like, we share... Your helpmate. Yeah, oh, we... I, I see. So this is more of a perspective thing than anything else. It, this is so, a separate. This is a mental separation from where you were at. Maybe. I mean, I think of it as growth. Like it is. Uh, no, it it's yeah. not that. Se- a separation can still be growth. Okay, yes, yeah, yes, so yes, like, yes. We're on the same page there. Um, ah, the smoke. Yeah, it's getting me too. Um, I love sitting on the end. So partner <laughs> is more of a. A loving term yes. to say someone that's either helping me or assisting me in life or in cohabitation. <laughs> yes. Someone that is existing with me, you um, me, propelling in life, getting further in life together. Yeah. It's not just I'll take the two same-sex same partners or it, it's a more... It's yeah, a more I don't think it should necessarily a definition be... Definition-wise, 
Yeah, I don't think it should be like exclusive towards. That doesn't help me. Necessarily like same sex couples. It, or. And I understand that to a point because I was playing Rainbow Six professionally with um, a buddy in Canada, mm -hmm. and he was talking about, oh, him and his partner. And that was the first time I've broached this conversation. Oh, or heard uh, the how's term. it feel? Or, or it heard feel, the term. Okay. Come on. How's that smoke? <laughs> do you feel do you feel like a real bro? Choking on smoke, are you and uh, Mike partners? Oh my God. <laughs> no, definitely not living together. But <laughs> this is I broached the conversation with him and he was like, Oh, well, it's just it's the term we use. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have actual dialogue to give me. Mm -hmm. And Because for I, him it was just what it's always been. It, it's, it's, it's exactly it's what it's always been. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, well, can can you help me learn? He was like, Oh, we're just partners. I was like <laughs> thanks for nothing like i i love you bro but give me something i i need to understand i need to understand intellectually as do you what is why do we call people partners like yes my wife is my partner but she's also my spouse she's also my wife she's also right. servant <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have an agreement like i make the money she cleans the house and we both cook and we both we take care of the child like that is a Agreement. <laughs> okay, Whatever moving. Whatever floats your boat. Exactly. Like, so you, you and mean Sam. Your is floating in the tub. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so you and Sam, you call each other partners. <laughs> Sorry, I can't did this it. start at a current time, or did this? Is this just more understanding of who? It really you started both with are? Sam. It started with Sam, and and we had a conversation about it. Who's Sam? Um, her boyfriend. her boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend. Partner. My okay. boyfriend. Partner. My partner. Boyfriend. Gotcha. Partner boyfriend. My partner boyfriend. Is he your helpmate though? My helpmate? Yeah. I would say yes. I think yes. Every time I've seen anytime you have an issue, is he helpful for that issue? Yes. Yeah. Then he's your definitely. Helpmate. And that that is husband quality. I right? agree. So, but that's also partner quality in the conversation we're talking about. Yeah. Is like, I don't care what you float. I don't care. If if the person, the body Whoever it is is helping you absolutely get and, further in life, and that's 100%. what I desired. I mean, and I—that's what I desire at the end of the day, is someone who's. That's something to be supportive and helpful. That, yes, yeah, absolutely. that is absolutely that. That should be the end goal for all of us, right? I, I, I right. agree. That like, should be. like that should be what we gun for. That should be what we strive for, not just from but to. Agreed. So like, if if you're looking at the aspect of is like, here you go. Let, let's put down to the nitty degree of my relationship. It's like, okay, well, I earn the money. I do this. And it's like, well, my but wife. But you don't just do that. No, but let's put it down on outside perspective. Well, my wife stays at home. So she does everything in the home. She takes care of the kid. She does this. And I do the money aspect. If we look at outside perspective in, a lot of people will look at that negatively. A lot of people will. Absolutely. Because... You... <sighs> It's almost like you're going back to the 50s where the woman is the stay-at-home person taking care of the kids, taking care of the house, all that bullshit, has no rights, et cetera, et cetera. But in today's society, it's, it's different, especially in your household. Your wife has a voice. Your wife... And he goes home and he contributes. Exactly. He cooks. Yes. He cleans. <clears throat> he does the 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 maintenance and he, he does just go home and the sit assembly. on his fucking ass on the couch and watch the fucking boob tube. Which is I've... which is where I want to jump in, the partner. Like yeah. you and Sam, you both contribute around the house. You both help. Very they much. absolutely both like, contribute around no, the house. No, no, that's that's what I was assuming. Like yeah. I know normally assuming I make an ass out of me and you, but <laughs> I I know enough about you from what you've talked about today and what I've heard from Mike and the one time we've talked before and I've talked to Sam a little bit and you both contribute. It's not a one side is 90 well, and the other is 10. It, it fills the position of a partnership. A proper yeah. partner role. Why don't we flip the script? Okay, let's go. Flip the script. My wife is the one that works. I don't. I'm a disabled vet. Yeah, but I've also My. seen you uh, doing "quote unquote" bitch labor, <laughs> washing dishes and cooking food. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you don't know shit. That there woman work. <laughs> but that's exactly what it's talked about. You don't know shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> that whole part right there—that's getting cut out. 
Oh. No, it'll stay in. That's got to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> Try me, bro. <laughs> the, the, so she makes, she still, even though she works, she makes less than what my disability income is. Okay. So I still bring in more money than she does. But even she's out of I the house working. Work. No, she works in the house. Okay. She, she works remote. from home? home. She oh, works okay. remote. Props. We, we need more fucking, remote jobs. Fuck yeah. Like. Fuck this brick and mortar bullshit where you have to fucking drive to work and spend your own fucking money to get to work. Bullshit. Fucking so, working I still build my company for driving. Here's the thing is, I don't know else. I don't know where Kelt's going with this, but I was I was curious about something because one of the things that happened when you got divorced is that you you stated that you wanted to try female relationships. Mm-hmm. And so you and you did. Oh, that's way off right? topic. No, that's on topic. I mean, we talked about partners. Partners. Is, no, no, no. We we, like we did. This is continuing. And, okay. and, and, and you did. And like, is it not something? If if this relationship failed, would you try that again, or is it just something yeah, that no, you tried I, out and you were like, eh, not my my tea? So let me continue mm. on this before you start. Okay. What was what was the failure point? Because there's always this breaking point. What was the failure point between you and whoever female you were with? Um. Oh, I know. I, I, I. Like, what was the absolute well, we, icing we on top of the cake? We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Yeah, we don't but have I, to. I don't, I, I guess. I was don't it you or who broke it off? You or her? We'll, we'll start I guess with it that. Was, it just, it, it just, it, it just didn't work. It just didn't it, work. It just yeah, didn't it, work. It, it, y'all, y'all were great friends. Y'all were not great relationships. The yeah, chemistry just, just didn't work it out. It just didn't work. I mean, I, I understand that. I, it makes sense. What? And it so did that put you off me. of women altogether? or No. It was no. just a one-off. It was it was the rare random die roll. Well, mm, when you say die roll, what do you mean? I like, mean, okay, so... No, like, I think I'm open to... I'm no, not saying anybody. he's saying die roll like die I mean, roll like you rolled the dice on this relationship and that relationship. Didn't it was work. the one relationship that was like, oh, this just didn't work. There was something off, and it just we like, tried could, and tried and tried and it didn't work. Could you uh, make it work with another woman like I, that I might mean, be more compatible with you or maybe? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Your, I, your your statement at this point is that you don't have enough experience in that regard to determine one way or the other. Right? Yeah, I don't have enough experience in that realm to be like, oh no, fuck all women. No. Well, I didn't think that you were going to say fuck all women. You no. were a woman. Agreed. I mean, no, <laughs> I mean yeah. and we've talked as like, you're bisexual and that's awesome. And it was like, okay, you, you play both. Is it awesome? Ball field. Well, yeah, she plays both ball fields. It's I like, mean, I get, guy, I get players awesome. on both times. I mean, uh, it's yeah. like, I find, I find all people attractive, time. but I think what I kind of, <laughs> really uh, desired was like a bad. connection with. Someone that has a intellectual connection in a way that helps yeah, you. Yeah, I attract. I what I desired desire was a connection to a human being, regardless of whatever genitalia they have. So it's whatever more, they're whatever they're rocking is whatever they're rocking. It's more of a. I'm attracted to a, a person at their core. It's an and emotional. It's an emotional. Exactly. It, it, it's, it's more of it's an a, emotional it's more a than genitalia the, the, connection. The the physical yeah the attraction lust as well as the the personality yeah. so, no, 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 it's not, no, the not, personality. not genitalia but but no the like, physical connection i mean you're they're looking the more for an emotional and intellectual yes. and like you're looking for the brain and someone that i can act actually physically assist and what now, you're we're, doing. we're all life. talking over you and putting words in your mouth. I need you to give input I mean, Like, here we're trying to we're understand. All, we're all saying a bunch of shit here, and you're just you kind of, like, looking one. at us. We are thing, all right? talking, and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You Cut us off. Like, <laughs> Cut us off. Let's Cut go. Cut us off. We're all loud, boisterous, angry people. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm attracted to a, a human regardless of whatever whatever's on the outside. So, I, I don't care whether you have tits and a vagina or a penis it it doesn't matter to me i'll ask a question is fucking a woman re- better than fucking a man <laughs> um no 
What's what's no, more that, jo- No, the, so here you go. Let me rephrase the question. Here, kitty cat, kitty cat disagrees. <laughs> kitty Bring cat disagrees. Let me let cow. me rephrase the question. <laughs> is is <laughs> You can hear the cat. We will be able to hear the cat. Well, come on. She said fuck no. Not just male and female. Is the enjoyment of the action of the person more enjoyable than just a single sex? Say that one more time. So. Let me rephrase it. Okay. We were talking earlier about emotional connection. Okay. And and my wife is, is the emotional thing, right? Like. The more emotionally connected she is to me, the easier it is for me to get her off mm-hmm. during intercourse. Yes. The more, the less emotionally connected, the harder it is. So right. is it more emotional or is it more physical with so, you? I guess I would say emotional. Right, and and ninety percent of women would probably agree with you, and but my wife is not one of those. If it's just a, if it's just a fuck. If we're I mean, gonna take it to the fuck level, is it I, is it about getting off at that point, or is it the emotional connection still? No, then it, it's different then, and and how does it differ between sexes? Because I'm only one way, and I I won't fuck another dude, no matter how much emotional connection <laughs> I have with that. So dude. so I have a gay friend at work, and I love him to death. His name's BJ just happens to be that he's gay <laughs> those are his initials i can't fight it it's just it is what it is he served in the air force real cool guy i love him to death and he just recently got separated over 20 years with his boyfriend his husband they got divorced and ends up his husband was dating multiple people his husband was a truck driver they were using Grinder, I think that I think it's Grinder. It's Grinder. Okay, so it, <laughs> I I haven't done any dating apps I've since Plenty never of Fish. Been on a dating app ever. I met my wife on Plenty of Fish. Okay. So that I have nothing against okay. them. I just all these new ones that have popped up, Bumble and there's a ton. There's like literally I, so I, many different dating apps. I I can't keep up. But I don't know them all. He just sure. he hop he has one that's strictly a hookup one and. Within the past couple days, well, he tinder. met up. It's not Tinder. Tinder's so fucking old. You're a fogey. And I only know that because an airman told me I'm a fogey. And that just means you're out of date. Oh, that's Bumble, funny. Hinge. It, hinge. That's what it was. He was like, oh, I met this guy on Hinge. And he was like, oh, what's your address? I'd love to fuck you. And started getting more and more graphic. And he was like, and the only reason I even knew to ask is because he had more of a pep in his step. Which tells me... With him and the he relationship, got, he, got being, a little... he got a little bit something extra. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, you got a little bit of pep in your step. And he was like, yeah, I get, I got this. And I was like, okay, well, good. Was it was it good? He was like, yeah. I, he's the first person I've ever given my number to. It's like, oh, well, like, like, like invited over or taking that next exactly. step. exactly okay, taking okay. the next step, not at a hotel or not at a location or in his car. It's like. Well, oh, props to him. Exactly. It's like, but he made you happy. He was like, yeah. And to top it off, we had a conversation after. Mm. And then he, it's 11 o'clock at night, he said. He was like, and dude made fucking breakfast at 11. He said what midnight. Fuck? And I was like. Can I marry him? I was like, <laughs> bro, whoa, 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 whoa. I've had Shut buddies up, that man. have married. Like, they're two best friends. They're straight as fuck, but they've married each other. Just Someone so they makes can get me out of the dorms. breakfast first and, thing in the morning or first thing in the they, middle of the, in the night. Military, they got married. After they coitus. got married so they could get out of the barracks okay. living. And they've always been straight. <laughs> Technically, they cheated on each other because they were dating other women. Yeah. But they both, they had a maid that came He's and did dying. all this. Meow. <laughs> That cat is dying slowly, but sure. That's what that sound is. That's what that meow is. Is he's like, kill me, he kill me now. He needs an alley cat, bro. He's Does like, he need death? What the fuck? I, I guess he need, he's got food. He's got water. He's got a litter box. I don't know what the fuck he needs, bro. I just gave him attention, and he left, and he was like, I fucking left the best thing in the world. <laughs> but 
But he they, screams. He does. My cat, shut the fuck up, Keeper. He screams at you. He goes, Meow! I hate my life! Kill me now! And I was like, oh, fuck it. You just gonna have to fucking die on the floor like everyone else. Piece of shit. Fucking cowboys over here. Give me attention. <laughs> but oh, BJ had this one-off fling earlier this week, and he was like, oh, well, he might end up being a partner in this the whole partner conversation of where this started and America with this whole partner aspect has statistically so far to date been later in the aspect of understanding and building this adoption of this statement of partner. partnership. It was like, but we've always been partners. What is a partner? We have partners in business, but we don't have partners in relationships. It's like, okay, so does she this, <laughs> which is where this dialogue is going. It's like, man, Keeper, you do a lot of talking, not a whole lot of letting other people talk. I need you to fucking shut your mouth for a minute. <laughs> then, bro, how about you fucking step in? I keep stepping in and you keep fucking opening your mouth shut open. Let someone else say some shit. Don't be a bitch. I was bitch, just talking be a bro. about my cat and you fucking were like, yes, but partners. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to talk about partners <laughs> you, more. I like the way which you one hold the mic which when one you talk better? about partners. You just got to cup the mic and twiddle. Just Cradle so them balls. Just, just yeah. And there you go. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Mike, has a, action, you know. Mike has a partner in the way. <laughs> Mike has a partner. It's called his 40. It's called his <laughs> Mike. All right. Look, there's a reason why there's Mike has two cats. Of all that is good in the world. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. All right. Ginger, throw us on a new topic. New topic? New yeah. topic? Yes. All you. Ginger to- Give us a ginger topic. Oh, ginger God. topic. Anything. Ginger topic. Ginger throw topic. Throw a topic out oh, there. Oh, my God. Guys, you put me on the spot. Anything. No, I yes, don't know what go. to say. Um... What was the last thing you and Sam talked about topic-wise? No, 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 no. Just no, no, stare no, no. at it. Just stare I at it. I want to know what's the most, imp- like, the most intriguing, most confusing, most badass fucking thing on your mind right now. Oh, God. Let me make it simpler for you. On your drive over, what was one thing you were thinking about? Just uh, one of the many. One of the many things I was thinking spaghetti. about. Because I know you're a woman. You have spaghetti, spaghetti Ooh. brain. You thought about a multitude of things. Um, Just one of the many. Today, I thought about what what I should put on the table. And I brought the duck. Um, what you should put on the table here. Yes. No. So you've watched our podcast. You know random things have are put on the table. Have you watched our podcast? Yeah, my favorite was the beaker. <laughs> I enjoyed the beaker. I don't even remember who put the beaker on. I don't remember that at all. But I liked the beaker. I thought it was a nice little funny flair. So you're over your on your drive over, you're on like On my drive over here, I was so nervous because I didn't know how this was going to go and I didn't know what was going to happen and I didn't know what we were going to talk about. Well, what was originally going to happen is we were going to attack you the entire time. That don't, was Mike's hey, idea. don't worry. I, I know and that that was These two Mike. talked me down. They're like, no, Mike, don't do that. Don't, don't let treat him lie to Ginger you. like shit. You don't worry, Ginger. I'm, I'm now a co-host. Okay. And I still don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about before I get So here. the best part is... We show up. Hopefully, one of the three of us have something. I have Twinkies prepared. Twinkies? Let's talk about Twinkies. Twinkies, like the history of Twinkies. Oh, okay. Let's and talk about did, it. Did you, did you want to hear about the history some of Twinkies? Some fucking big good stuff with some cream. I mean, all I'm, all, I'm all on board for I've talking about. I've never eaten a Twinkie. Really? What? There, what? Yeah. Hold up. Okay. Whoa. Off camera. We're on camera. We're on, we're camera. on camera. You can't oh, say you off can't camera. say off camera when we're <laughs> on camera. My Kelp's over here. Time out. We're just gonna pause the video. It's like, hold on. I don't know. <laughs> hey Mike, are you gonna pause the video? Mike's no. over here like the fuck I am. <laughs> I'm gonna put this and shit on the world. Kids just thing. over here like. We do off camera on camera. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what's like, happening. You don't have to answer this. Swallow or spit. What? 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 Hold on! No! No! What? No! No! We're talking about Twinkies. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are we talking no. about sunflower seeds? Man! Yes! 
Are we talking about no. two? Like, that's not, a, you need no more circumstances. bases. We're talking about no, 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 where I am, no circumstances is that acceptable. It depends where I am and what's happening. <laughs> if I can't, afterwards or what? if I can spit it out, I will. Okay. So she's not a Twinkie. Hold on. Let's talk about real Twinkies for a minute. Hold on. We're, we're over here. Hold what? on. So what? I've done my research on Twinkies and you're over here like, oh, she's spinning first out off, this cream filling? First off, everyone, everyone, give what? props because we're losing our minds because Kelt's like, swallow or spit. And we're like, meanwhile, Ginger's like, no, no, seriously, I got this, bro. <laughs> she's over here answering the question and I'm over here like well Twinkie started as strawberry filling when strawberries weren't in order We're gonna like fucking they started that. filling with something else and uh, she's over here like spit uh, it out in a certain place and uh, Kelt's over here like okay that answers the question and me and Mike over here fucking losing our mind it's like hold the fuck up are we talking about Twinkies or are we talking about like we were not talking about Twinkies bro shut the fuck up we were talking about Twinkies listen it's just like that Pokemon meme I sent you Twinkies. the other day all right, it's just like the Pokemon <laughs> meme. All right, you just I'm not spitting out any Twinkie. Out <laughs> just say if we're going off Twinkies, that thing is being ingested yes. entirely. I know you swallow. <laughs> oh yeah, spitters for quitters. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, I, I think I just had... peed myself a little bit. Oh my gosh, you need to do some Kegels. <laughs> Kegels, there you go. The, okay, so we're on this wildly Remember inappropriate topic. <laughs> so I've I have been with a woman who literally <laughs> tasted like a fruit smoothie. Oh. What? Oh. Not fucking kidding you. Like her diet was so fantastic that it was just <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I've been with a woman Tell that tastes more. like fucking strawberries Ever for since real. then. I have just been like, oh man, eating out a woman is the best thing in the world. Yes. You taste like fruit roll-ups. You're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Mm, that tastes like oh, potato salad. I'm not You're bad lunchable. <laughs> over here, talk. We start at charcuterie boards, and Mike's oh over here. God. You're lunchable. Strawberry and cream. <laughs> Y'all need to stop getting really close to the mic. <laughs> you do, because every time you do that, Keeper, I have to adjust the fucking microphone volume. I do that intentionally. <laughs> okay, so here you go. I'm just going to mute you guys. I'm just going to mute y'all. That's all it is. Y'all are just going to be muted. Okay, oh so God. here we go. <laughs> jump into Twinkies, oh then we'll God. jump into something else because I know. But are we not gonna touch on the fruit smoothies? I no, tell me, tell Twinkies. me more about the fruit you got smoothies, Mike. Let's go, bro. <laughs> she tasted like. Let's go. I mean, what what was I? I was, I was in my like I was like twenty years old. DC ran, or military? No military. No, this was pre-military. No. The, this was. When did you join the military? Did you have long hair? I was twenty-one. Twenty-three. Yes, 22. I was a long hair. This was long hair, Mike. This was long hair. This was Stoner Mike. Did you know him as long hair, Mike? No. No, she didn't know me as Stoner Mike. Her husband did. Her oh. ex-husband. Ex-husband. Did he? Yeah. Whoa. Were you in high school together? No. no. I, I don't know. Um, so date? we we're gonna make this. Oh, weird. here you go. Backstory. We're gonna make this weird. <laughs> Her ex-husband is my cousin's stepson. Brothers. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Thank you. Her <laughs> ex-husband <laughs> is my cousin's stepson. I so met him when he was like. Y'all are not related at all. No. 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 They haven't been. No. No. They so are, if you dated her, it wouldn't be like. <sighs> oh, Pearl Girl. They're okay? related by coincidence and choice. Got it. That's where the relation is. Same way, Mike and you are uncles to my daughter. Now, if you do something dirty deeds, yeah. Of occasionally, course. you're gonna find a way to kickstart a landmine by yourself. Well, well, me and you are not going to do dirty deeds together. I hate nah. to break that to you. I'm pretty sure you'll taste like a fruit smoothie. Oh, I do. <laughs> have you ever Especially met anyone since whiskey. who tasted? No, no. that's but a solid I have, question. I have met someone since who straight up tasted like cat urine smells. I have uh, 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 fish factory. Uh, it was 
it was one of those things where you're like, I regret some decisions at this point. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on. One time let's where I was let's backstep. I faked a phone call to my phone. It is and where said my mom was calling. It, you it, blamed it, your mother. I rang my mom and I was like, I gotta come home right now. <laughs> so, I pulled up my pants real quick. I didn't even penetrate. I was eating that pussy. And I was like, Oh God. Ugh. It's where <laughs> it's where I truly learn. Now I was I was mid twenties at this point, but it's where I truly learned the importance of the scratch and sniff. Yes. That's yes. A <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the whole rub the clit, rub the clit, reach around. Everyone your head. knows what the scratch and sniff is. And your head, no, not all women do. Your elbows behind her I head. And, they, and your fingers are on her cheek. Ginger, hold on, kissing. hold on. Ginger. Ginger had something to say, Ginger. and I'm all Shut on board because we might Ginger. be on the same fucking point here. Ginger. I know what a scratch and sniff is, <laughs> but thank you for the graphic detail. Agreed. Thank you. I'm over Everyone. here throwing up in my mind. Every 14 year old doesn't oh, fucking know what it is. Everyone they needed that lesson today. Everyone <laughs> ain't was able to put the context clues together except for you. Kelt over here is like, here you go. This is how you scratch and sniff at the bottom of a pool. In case you didn't know. By the way, pool sex sucks. Hey, I am fucking blind. So. Are you? <laughs> I How haven't figured you? it out this whole podcast. So I, back I'm on just, Twinkies. I'm just saying, pool sex and hot tub sex is not all it it's cracked not. up to be. It's also or shower sex. Un- shower sex isn't nearly as fun unless you have a step. Okay, it's or, or, fun in no, if you have like that super grippy ground. A, a lot of times during shower sex, I'm scared I'm just gonna have a slip and fall incident. Yeah, and then I'm that's why you have to have the. If you're the gonna do shower sex, get the... yourself one of those grippy mats. Yes. Yep. And one of those steps, it it uh, changes everything. Mm-hmm. I could imagine a step because it would help with the height and balance. It's the suction that actually, not well, those stupid not bullshit. If you if you get the old people suction. seats inside your shower, by the way, it's <laughs> fun if, you, awesome. if you get what? It's so it's a. Um, like a like an old like yeah, a shower you chair, sit like, a, a, like, shower old, chair. Old, like a and they do it's, wonders. It's world I changing. Can that. Are you and serious? Oh, hundred percent, dude. Because I have one, and I've never used it. Use it now. You have plenty of shower sex, but I've never you fucking, fucking use it. it. Okay, tell me how to fucking use it, because. Please well, give him. I, if I have to explain it, you shouldn't use well, it. For Dude. the fourteen-year-old watching, no, the 14 year old doesn't need this lesson. If you can't put one and two together or one and zero together, hey, you should. Are you bending over, grabbing the fucking seat, or what? I'm not answering. Oh my this. god, no, we're moving on. Okay, I'm so sorry. Twinkies. I really don't fucking know. So Twinkie, we can hold this off conversation. <laughs> Twinkies are fucking baked goods stuffed with fucking no, cream. No, no. So you know why Twinkies started? I don't. Okay, but I know so it's stuffed cream bakery. No, false. <laughs> Twinkies started because your strawberry inserted goods back in the 1930s mm, because strawberries dirty, were baby. out of season. They weren't able to get the strawberry cream. So what they did is they made banana cream because bananas were all year round. Say cream again. Cream. Okay. Oh, I love hearing cream. <laughs> of course you do, makes Navy me, guy. Makes me Navy funny. guy loves cream. <laughs> But in the 1930s, he's just, he's just seeing the name on the back of their fucking pants and going, mm, cream." So <laughs> his name might have been Jack, but it fucking red cream. <laughs> I hate you both. Why is the Air Force guy the most professional guy here? This hey, is why I Air Force. For you. If Jack were stuck on a horse, would you help him off? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Let me consult my lawyer, I or just would. consult Ginger. Ginger so, might be able to answer the question. So, would you would help you? Jack off the crane? Would you? I mean. The horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What were you saying about Twinkies? Oh, shit. So Twinkies started in the 1930s, <laughs> and this is from a Canadian American. Canadian. He... That makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> You're right. Help. Somehow. Send help. <laughs> Send help. Yeah. What? What is the whole freaking? Is is it this one? <laughs> It's I'm that. abused. I'm not saying. <laughs> these... Yes, <the> help, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> these two are abused. Call 911, bitch. I'm 
I do want to say, I don't think I've seen Mike laugh this hard in quite some time, and it does make my soul happy. <laughs> oh, this it is hurts. the best podcast yet. <laughs> it hurts <laughs> on the inside. It hurts. It hurts. Oh, I haven't laughed this hard <laughs> since fucking Joe Coy. <laughs> oh, fuck. So they start in the 1930s, oh, Canadian American, and then they jump over to 1940s. The next time a major improvement was changed, <coughs> bananas were used for the war effort in World War II. Are Wait, they, how were of bananas now? used in the war? Because they were on a lot of naval ships. A lot of bananas were pushed overseas Light that were in America to everyone else that needed them, quote unquote, needed them for the war effort. Because why, it, wait, 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 wait! I'm confused. Why they need them for the war it's effort? Po- it's potassium. It helps them poop. Oh, okay. Bananas okay, help them poop. No. Yes, actually, it does. Scientifically, bananas actually constipate you, so you don't have fucking diarrhea. Hey, yes. this if is you a, have diarrhea, you eat bananas. You hold that up with my child who eats a banana a day and shits like no. no yeah, you hold that up. No, with, when you're having intestinal distress, the brat diet. Bananas, rice, Banas- potassium, applesauce, toast, and toast. Yep, toast. That's right. And yeah. what are those? They have high in potassium and starch. Yes, and it's supposed to clog you up, not help you poop. Not help you poop. I, I need you to get bananas, your facts. I that think is facts. I'm going off freaking I'm to him. My you know my daughter, my son, my son, my seven year old son, just threw up in my fucking car two days ago, yesterday. <laughs> And, and he didn't clean I took it him himself to the because doctor, I'm Navy and it's gross. And the doctor said, give him bananas, toast, and fucking crackers and applesauce and clear liquid diet Brad to diet. help him Ginger? stop shitting and, yes, and puking. Were you about to say something? No. I was just holding my finger up. Oh. Sorry, Go. I'll put it down. Go. Yeah, put your finger down. Sorry. Well, now it's too late. Now you have to say something. Um, I don't enjoy eating bananas because when I do eat bananas, I get the banana burps. And all day long after I eat a banana, I have the banana burp. What is I get the, the same burp? thing. What so it's like a little burp. It's like reflux almost. It's like a little burp, but it just tastes like bananas and it's gross. It's a type of acid reflux I that happens with a certain amount of populace. So it's a genetic really? it's a genetic code that lives in your body because you're born by blank 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 whatever. I get the same thing when I take vitamins. And oh. I get that nasty vitamin taste in my throat. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. My it's bad. gross. It sucks. That that's gotta suck because bananas taste good going down, they don't taste good coming up. Banana burps all day, not pleasant. <laughs> but wow. nineteen nineteen forties, tw- Twinkie pretty much changed it from banana to vanilla. So yeah, when I was gonna say, when did they change to vanilla? Because today's Twinkies have today's Twinkies are vanilla. Now they have pumpkin, strawberry, and it started at strawberry. Now strawberries are year round because because of greenhouses. Sourcing. Yep. So. During the nuclear attack, this is what started the rumor of, oh, Twinkies will last forever. Is this during mm. World War One? No, this is 1960s now. We jumped from World War II so to 1960s. Vietnam. You, almost Vietnam. We're talking about red issue, red alert, okay. red yeah, yeah. communist attack. And this is where Twinkies were everywhere because they'll last forever. Yeah. So this is where we're at. And we switched now to vanilla. Vanilla is so easily, so commonly used because it's a year-round product. And the the slogan they used was "Stay fresh forever," which started the rumor of it's gonna last. Yeah, forever. it's gonna last forever. <laughs> which it was during the nuclear attack, nuclear war, nuclear red communist. Everyone was afraid that everything was gonna just a disappear. Company saying "Stay fresh forever." Did you say a tampon? He that, did. That's a weird... That's a weird thing. But seriously... Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm, say, I'm, it, say it loud. I'm listening. Fucking weird and <laughs> gross. I hate tampons. Exactly. So my daughter's mom, when my daughter was less than a year old, got septic mm-hmm. because she didn't change out her tampon. Toxic shock syndrome. Yep. Yes. Toxic shock she syndrome. She became septic and was damn near de- close to death. I had yeah. to rush her to the emergency room. Because she didn't change out her tampon soon enough. But could you imagine if a tampon company said the same thing as Twinkies? Fresh forever? I think that, yeah. But that would lead people to probably have more toxic shock syndrome. That's a tongue twister. Toxic shock syndrome. Toxic shock syndrome. That's a triple S. 
right? TSS. Um, I knew a girl who got that. I and, had a friend in high school that got that. But <clears throat> the scary thing was is she didn't, like, it wasn't, like, lost in her forever. She didn't leave it in forever. For some people, it's scary. It's cause two hours minimum. It can, yeah. It's a foreign object in your body, and your body's like, what the Rejecting fuck? Rejecting it. Also, a lot of tampon companies put so many nasty chemicals in them. Mm-hmm. Fragrance. They're yep. full of poison, and then you're putting that poison inside of your body to help absorb menstruation, well, which I get because menstruation is not a fun thing. It's not only that. It's not only the tampons that have all the different chemicals on the, oh, pads on the actual do too. tampon, but it, let's talk about uh, cleaning the vagina, mm-hmm. w- uh, doing the, the soap rinse or whatever the That's fuck. That's poison for your body. Right? The so vagina is a self-cleansing organ. organ. Like, <clears throat> it throws off your natural pH. It throws off your natural flora. It makes you smell funky, taste yep. funky. It... it fucks with your body right so so guys here's what i'm saying is educate yourself absolutely on women's fucking body parts on it <laughs> and women's don't be the yeah to- women's toiletries to the point and ginger can attest to this is he's I, asked me i'm I, I actually asked her uh like i was like okay well i'm gonna stock some pads and tampons at my house because i have a lot of women friends what come over. What is the best? Yeah, what should I grab? And she's like, grab organic. this brand. Or or natural. And like, <clears throat> I get organic is expensive. But there are some out there that aren't organic but are more natural. But it, really, it, we, nothing, don't, we, we care about what's the best. It, well, it, nothing it, I'm, nothing <clears throat> in today's society is actually organic. Like, everything is labeled organic, but nothing well, is actually uh, organic it, anymore. What, here's what I'm saying, besides all that, is that... <clears throat> Don't be ashamed just because you're a dude, you're a bachelor, or whatever, um, or you're cycling in and out of relationships. Rock that shit. To Let's stack, rock that shit. To stack, bless you. To stack some pads and some tampons in your fucking bathroom because you never know when you're going to have a friend Let's... over who needs that shit, right? Well, at the same point, it's though, stop. as a guy. Um, and here's the thing, though, but we're going to go ahead and close this out and continue to the shit offline. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, so I've been Mike Culberson. I'm Mike Keever. I'm Ooh, keeper. Am I my keeper? Are you my keeper? I'm keeper. You're Mike's keeper. <laughs> You're I'm, Mike's keeper. This is I'm my Mike. Kelt. That's Kelt. Ginger. And ginger. We have ginger. And we have us. Ginger. Uh, this so has this has been, been name pending. pending. I need you to fuck that like button and throw a comment below. I'll respond. Whose phone is ringing? I, I will not respond to anything. I have responded to every comment to date, which is 100. percent Yeah, 100. <laughs> percent It's been fun hanging with you guys, and we'll catch you later. Later.